what's up guys, uh, it is Travis here, and uh, today I'm teaching you guys how to air dribble. So, the first thing you want is, you know, the car that you want to air dribble with, so, let's see. Okay, so, in a free play, obviously, unless you want to try to practice in the game, I don't know, but, let's see if I can just... Yeah, so Fennec, I don't think it's gonna work for this, so let me just, uh, da da da. I'm actually gonna go with the Breakout, because it's, uh, it's a good car for Airship, anyways. So, let me just get. Breakout. Good. Sweet. Hop into free play. <clears throat> Okay, so now that we're in free play, just, you just wanna. One of the main parts of air dribbling is obviously card control. So, what you wanna do is, uh. I'm assuming if you're watching a tutorial like this, you already have basic card control. But, um. Yeah, just kinda mess around in free play, go off the wall, try to keep yourself in the air, you know, do some spins, or you could just. You know, just keep yourself in the air like this. You know, kind of just fly around. You can go around this thing if you want. Just like circle below my car. And after you're done with that, um, you're pretty much ready. So there's three steps to air dribbling. First step is first touch, or sorry, setup. And then the second step is the first touch. And the third and final step is continuing the air dribble. So, first step is the setup. I go off the right wall, but I can also go. Oh, that's kind of weird. I can also go off the left wall. You want to have it in the middle of your car, right there, and then that's all you want. Now, if you want a faster air dribble, you might have it up the wall with more power, like you know, like that. And then you can just air it in. So yeah, it's pretty basic air drilling. Not nothing fancy. Just taking up the wall, boom, getting the first touch there, and then you can just continue it. And you mainly want at least like three touches, I would say. So first thing, get the setup. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Boost a little bit, boom. That's what you want. If you want to be close, it's all about, actually, the big thing is about timing the jump. When you're rolling up, you, you can jump there, but it makes it a lot harder to air dribble. It's definitely possible, it's just harder. So, what you mainly want to do is, you get it, you want to jump as soon as you come off the wall, like there. And then, you can pretty much just follow it in, even without air rolling. So, pick the wall. Angle it about there. Hit it once or twice. Jump. That's where you want to jump. I'll put it in slow mo so you guys can see where I jump better. But yeah, so after you're done reviewing that, uh, next thing is the first touch. So you want to set up. Boom. Boom. That's all you want. Just a soft little tap to where you can uh, control it. So get the first touch. That's all, that's all you want. Just that. So I just practice that a couple times. I'll do a training pack later in the video to show you how it will look. But yeah, just keep practicing that. Just tap. And she said, it's just like a very soft aerial. So. Step three is continuing the air drill. This is the hardest part, obviously, because you're maintaining car control. Oh, that was a terrible set. Get in the middle of your car. First touch. If you're advanced, you can carry a lot lighter. It's all about like the weight of the ball. Like you can't change it obviously. You can manipulate it. Like if you go like this, and then go like this, and go like Pff. Like if you have good card control, obviously you can put it in, but it's a lot harder. So you really want a soft touch. So like this. 
And you, you don't have to boost it though, I just find it a lot better. I you just want like three touches. So I can change this a little bit. Yeah, so you just want like three touches, so. Bring it up here, boom. Okay, that was terrible. Alright, alright, so bring it up here. And then just kinda, yeah. You just wanna, so the last main point to having good air dribbles is where you hit the ball. So I'll slow it down, so you guys can see it, but it's like right, right, like, kind of under the ball and it's right it's right there it's right there so like under the ball but like not all of it so like right right there and you can just continue air drilling and score some pretty nutty stuff to be honest so let's see if I can get a nice one <laughs> oh, the last point. So, there's two types of air drills. There's, um, like, uh, actually, there's three, basically. But, um, first one is the slow air drill. A lot of freestylers. Okay. Terrible setup. First one is the slow air drill. A lot of freestylers do this. Get a couple touches. And control it into the net. Okay. Nice on this. So the first one is control irritable. A lot of freestyles do this. If you wanna get a light touch, control it all the way into the net, with or without ball cam, doesn't really matter. Depends on what kind of card control you have. So on the topic of ball cam, um, you can either Go to your air dribble like this, and stay in ball cam, and see where your car is better, pinch it in the ground, or, I, th I think Justin mostly does this, is you go up, do your first touch, and then take off ball cam, and then it's, it's easier to place it, but I don't necessarily think it's easier to actually air dribble. I could be wrong, yeah, I find I have way better control. If I take it slow, and I take it up the wall nicely, so yeah, some pretty, pretty cool stuff. So, the maps that I recommend for air dribbling are two of my favorites actually. IP Joker, that's a great, that's a, it's, it's pretty good, not ideal for air dribbling though. This is what you want. Um, Jake or, R or Jake RL? Probably just Jake RL. Probably read it wrong. But this is what you want. First shot, you need to pop, you need to pop it up and then air dribble it. So yeah, it's pretty uh. Jeez, I can never get it. Just want a few touches and then. This isn't a shot that you're going to get right away, especially if you just started air dribbling. The shot's mostly about timing, but yeah. Get some nice stuff. Kind of clean. So that's the first one. You just kind of want to keep it right under that sweet spot, and you can just take it. Uh, next shot, just a simple air dribble off the wall. Not like that. I don't really like these be honest that much dead zones are freaking out right now so yeah you just want like a little touch and I really don't like this setup to be honest. If I was trying to air dribble, I would not have this kind of setup. This is too much power and you're not following the ball. Well, I mean, I guess you can get it eventually, but it's I just, I don't like that shot. Don't recommend practicing that shot much. So let's move on to the next shots. The 
next shot is a little it's kind of a better setup you can probably get a couple more touches I don't really like this one either because it's facing the wrong way so especially if you're new to air dribbling it, it, it'll feel really weird but uh, not 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 as bad as the other one to be honest but still not the greatest setups you're probably not gonna do this in game anyways this setup right here is not really something that you're gonna do in game I don't care what rank you are <laughs> anyone who air dribbles is not set it up like that and yeah it's just oof, that's just it's really wank well on to the next shot okay this is the uh, next shot I'm the last shot but yeah this one is good actually you just want to pop it up and then get control of it this one's kind of about timing as well there's a bit of an angle to it actually that I don't really like you have to hit it pretty hard to actually get control what is going on with my dead zones? hold on guys I'm sorry few touches. Okay, so this is the next shot. You just wanna want to throw to you, jump up, get a few touches, and actually score. This this shot ha kinda has an angle to it actually. Which I don't really like, but it's whatever. It's it's a kind of a weird shot. But honestly this pack will get you good at mm, like it, it'll get you pretty good at air dribbling. if you have the right dead zones. There we go. Okay, yeah. So this shot, you just want to let it roll to you. Jump up. Or, there we go. And then jump up and just air juggle it. So, not really the best setup, but you might use it in game once or twice don't know this one is actually a pretty good setup because you know it's nice and soft hit it just right and you can just get it glued to your car and just just oh probably my favorite shot out of the whole pack to be honest because the control that you can get with this is just oh it's so nice it's so satisfying but yeah you don't want to boost much until you get actually in the air and then no. Normal air dribble. So that's a that's about it. There's nothing too flashy to air dribbling. Or not okay. No, air dribbling is very flashy, but nothing too uh, mechanically challenging other than the actual air dribbling itself, which I just did a tutorial on. So yeah, if you guys want to see um I don't, I don't know what you guys want to see. Uh, probably do ceiling shots next. I'll do flip reset tutorial if you know if, if you guys like. Well, if you guys like, I'll, I'll do whatever you want. But if you guys actually you know like the stuff, then just uh, comment what you want me to do. So yeah, I think that's about it. So. Uh, I will see you guys oof, in the next video. Uh, peace out.